Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Wesley Ruff. About two months after they originally hoped to open training camp, the Utah football team kicked off camp th today with um, four weeks to get ready to start the abbreviated Pac-12 season. Dana Green has the story. Perhaps nobody was happier to be back on the field than defensive coordinator Morgan Scally, who was suspended and reinstated this summer after a racist text he sent back in 2013 was discovered. It's been uh, a blessing, uh, you know, to, just to be back with the players again, um, understanding that I've got a lot of work to do in terms of, again, gaining their trust back. Um, had a lot of very open and honest conversations with our players and uh, it's been fantastic. He's uh, an outstanding football coach, an outstanding person. Um, we've put it behind us. Uh, we've all learned from it, uh, particularly Morgan. Scali has quite a task this year, replacing nine starters on defense. It seems like every year you're, you're having to replace someone. It just so happens that this year it's, it's, it's a little bit more. So, I mean, guys will step up. It's our job as coaches is to put them in the best situation possible. On offense, all eyes are going to be on the quarterback battle where Jake Bentley and Cam Rising will compete for the starting job. Rising may have the early edge since he's been in the system a year. I believe it does give him an edge. Just again, there's a familiarity. The thing that they both have in common is that they neither one of them have ever taken a snap as a Utah football quarterback on game day. So that's that's kind of the great equalizer. With all the talent at receiver and tight end, the Utes may actually change their run first philosophy. We've leaned on Zach Moss and, and had a a fairly heavy dose of run over the last few years, and it may change this year. We may need to throw the ball more, uh, which is fine. I mean, any, there's more than one way to get things done. As for being picked third in the Pac-12 South, Whittingham gets it, but doesn't care. When you look at the players that we lost and who we have to replace, uh, I don't blame them for, for picking us where they did, and that's you know, it's just a typical reaction. And you got to be able to reload and respond. Dana Green, ABC4 Sports.